Welcome to Hey Hey Maharabik Academy. Should you be new to the channel, every video I upload on Arabic for the beginner, two benefits are actually embedded. The first one, Tawhid General Talk, and the second one, the main Arabic lesson. I heard you to subscribe to my social medias. I've got my YouTube and my Facebook. And the last lesson, I established the fact that Allah is a creator by citing some undeniable and unhagable verses from al Quran to that effect. What I am going to be discussing with you today is the purpose of our creation. That is, why Allah created a horse? Did he, the exalted, create a horse to just come and enjoy the goodness of life? Or he created a horse to come and struggle with the other side of life? Which one? Can you tell me? Let me help you out. He created a horse for none out of the aforementioned. The main purpose of our creation is to worship Allah, and we are not allowed to give this worship to anything, be it human being or not. Not only that, we are not allowed to associate partner to him. Because of these, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends prophets and review books, warning against worshipping any other thing aside him. What's my evidence for all this? Allah says in Hina Al-Qur'an, A'udhu Billahi Mina Shaytani Rajeem, Bismillahi Rahmani Rahim, Wa'abudullah, Wa la tushruku bihi shayha, Wa bil walidayni iksana, Wa bi dhil qurba wal yatama, Wa al masaqeen wal jawri dhil qurba, Wa al jawri al junub, Wa al sahib al jamb, Wa bin al sabil, وما ملكت أيمانكم إن الله لا يحب من كان مختال فخورا. Worship Allah and join none and join none with him in worship and do good to your parents, king fox, orphan, the neighbor who is near of king, the neighbor who is a stranger, the companion by your side, the wayfarer, and so on. What we are actually interested in this verse, it is the first line, وَعَبُدُ اللَّهَ وَلَا تُشْرُكُ بِهِ شَيْهًا Worship Allah and join none with him in worship. Allah says in another verse, إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَغْفِرُ أَنْ يُشْرِكَ بِهِ وَيَغْفِرُ مَا دُونَ ذَلِكَ لِمَا يَشَى وَمَنْ يُشْرِكْ بِاللَّهِ Verily, Allah forgives not that partner should be set up with him. I repeat, verily, Allah forgives not that partner should be set up with him in worship. This is what we are actually interested in. But he forgives except that to whom he pleases. And whosoever set up partner with Allah in worship he has indeed invented a tremendous sin. I will repeat the verse again. In Allah la yagfiru an yushrika bi wa yagfiru ma duna thalik lima yasha wa man yushrik billahi faqad iftara hithman azima Verily, Allah forgives nuts that partner should be set up with him in worship but he forgives Except that, anything less, to whom he pleases. And whosoever set up partners with Allah in worship, he has indeed invented a tremendous sin. Allah says in another verse, وَمَنْ نُرْسِلُ الْمُرْثَلِينَ إِلَّا مُبَشِّرِينَ وَمُنْذِرِينَ وَيُجَادِلُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا بِالْبَاطِلِ لِيُدْحِذُوا بِحِ الْحَقَّةِ وَاتَّخَذُوا حَيَاتِي وَمَنْ عُنْذِرُ الْهُذُوَ And we send nuts, the messenger, except as a giver of glad tiding and warning. But those who disbelieve, dispute with false arguments in order to refute the truth thereby, and they treat my hayat, that is the proof, evidences, verses, lessons, and signs and revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that with which they have warned as just a mockery. 
And lastly, Hala said, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْعِنْسَ إِلَّا لِيَابُدُونَ And Hai, Allah, created not the jinn kind and the human kind, except they should worship me, Halun. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْعِنْسَ إِلَّا لِيَابُدُونَ and I did not create the jinn and the humankind except that they should worship me. This is what your creator said in Al Quran, and this is the verses. These verses are evidence of all I have said so far. With all these, I think it has become clear that the purpose of creation is to worship Allah. The next thing we are going to talk about is the oneness of Allah which can be divided into three. This is where I will start from in my next video. Now, let's go for the main benefits. In my last lesson, I talked about Arabic parts of speech. It's worth of note that articles like a and the do not exist in Arabic language. But we have the equivalence. Nakratu simply means indefinite. So when something hit is indefinite, we call it nakra in Arabic. Indefiniteness of ismun, that is now, is shown with the help of tenuin. It is tenuin we use to show that this particular thing it is indefinite. The question is, what is the meaning of tenuin? Tenuin in English simply means no nation. And uh, the main meaning, or, or let me say the definition of tenuin, it is the doubling of the short vowels. I hope you know the short vowels in Arabic. The short vowels are the fatiha, the kasra, and the dumma. So when they are doubled, they become tenuin. That is, fatiha becomes fatihatani. Kasra becomes Kasratani and Duma becomes Dumatani. That's Tenuin. So when these short vowels are doubled in a particular word, the last letter in a particular word, a noun, if that word it is taking a hint of this Tenuin, it shows that that particular word it is indefinite. For example, a house. A house in Arabic, it means Baytun. So if you check the word Beitun, you realize that the last letter in Beitun, it is taking Dometani. It is taking Dometani. That's what shows that Beitun, it is indefinite. That is a house. It simply means a house. We can call it the house. That is definite. But in order to make a house, in order to make a house, a home indefinite, we make use of what? Of tenuin, and that's why the last letter there, that is the ta, it is taken dometani. A pen in Arabic, it simply means kola moon. Kola moon. So if you check the last letter in that place, which is mim, you realize that it is taken dometani. And same to maktabun, that is a table. So if you check the last letter in that place, you will realize that it is also taken dometani. So what you need to know is that whenever a word, a word, it is taken dometani, the last letter of a particular word, it is it's only going to appear at the last letter. You can see tenuin at the beginning or at the middle of a particular word. It is only the last letter that can take tenuin. So whenever a word, it is taken tenuin, it shows that that particular word, it is indefinite. That is, it is nakra. It is what? Nakra. Now let's talk about Ma'arifa. Ma'arifa simply means definite. Definite. So when something when we are acquainted with something, we tend to say it is definite. The house, the boy, the clothes. That means we know what we are talking about when we use the word the boy, the clothes, the house. That is, it is definite. So in Arabic, the word definite simply means Ma'arifa. Ma'arifa to show that a noun that is ismun, it is definite, we make use of al. 
al that is alif and lam al 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 we place this alif and lam at the beginning of that particular word that is we allow alif and lam to start that particular word so for example baytun it becomes al baytu it becomes al baytu not al baytun the moment a particular word that is a noun it is taking al that is alif and lam it can't take tenuin anymore a word can be definite and at the same time indefinite that's not possible so if a word it is taking alif and lam then definitely that word is not going to be taking tenuin and that's why when you check the word halbeitu you realize that the last letter there which is ta it is no more taking tenuin so it becomes al baytu al baytu not al baytun not al baytun and kolamun it becomes al kolamu the pen the pen not al kolamun that's wrong al kolamu al kolamu the pen the pen now tell me in the comment section i want you to make muhammad muhammad is a boy name is a main name i want you to make it indefinite in the comment section and i want you to make maktabun i want you to make it definite in the comment section have you gained anything don't forget to subscribe like the video and share to others to benefit as well and i will see you in the next video